Hi guys, it's Danny Three Woods on here, and today I'm going to show you how to make another muzzle flash. So here's the raw footage. I've already put that footage with the muzzle flash on YouTube, so you can check it out. It's in the description. So what you're going to, going to want to need for this is GIMP right here, and you're going to just want a normal muzzle flash, just a picture of Google Images. So yep. Just open up GIMP. Uh, firstly, actually, you want to be at right when you're shooting where you want the muzzle flash. Right click there, and you just want to add a freeze frame. Then, to just get it, you play it in full screen. Apple Shift 4, take a picture. And then you can just close iMovie. Let it close. Um, that. And so then you will have. Oh, what's that? So then you'll want to have. I need. Where's the rest of GIMP? Alright, here. So then you'll get a picture that looks something like this. Like that. So you just want to open that up in. Actually, you want to open up your muzzle flash first. I'm going to be using that one. Just open. Uh, yeah, just click assign. Then you want to go to colors down here to color to alpha. Then, as you as you can see, it'll change white, so you don't see white. But we want to drag this little crosshair over to the black here. Okay, so I'll get rid of the background there. You got that. Then you copy. And you open your actual screenshot, which is this one. Yes, this one. And just press convert. And then you want to paste it in there, and it'll look like that. And then you can resize it to how you want it to be. So I'll just make mine pretty big. So I'll just make it about that big, let's say. <laughs> And you want to go back to here, and you just want to click scale here, and then so now it'll be that big. Then you want to double click this, the move tool, and you just see how it's got the anchor right there next to the mouse. Just click outside of the muzzle flash, and that'll anchor it. Then you can just save it, save as so. You just save that. Just press save. And then there you go, you've got it on your desktop now, just close close GIMP. There it is. It's right there. And now back to iMovie. You wanna actually first of all you wanna drag muzzle into iPhoto, just let it import, and just close iPhoto. Go into here, and then there you have it. Just drag and drop to there. Delete that, sorry about that, that was just my iPod. Cropping can burn for rotation, just press fit, and a few other things. I'm just gonna add a video effect. Just add glow because it looks like the room lights up. So yeah, and then just change the time. So you can, I'll show you a little trick for this. So you can just put 0 0.05. It'll come back as one, as you can see. So that's 0 0.1 second. And if you watch, it's still too long. So what you want to do, you want to get this much of it, and you just want to hit the delete, and you can't delete anymore. They'll make it as short as it can possibly go. And you can just delete that part. And there you have it. Just stick a sound effect in, and then, so... And that's how to make another muzzle flash.